All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Friday, April 5th, set by Imogen. Have we seen Imogen recently? I don't think so. Let's see what Imogen has for us. Send in a column, keeping this for the record. Is it something to do with vinyl records? Tone arm or a stylus or something. Send in a column. No, not getting it. Let me try the downs. Um, when play opens, see trees close together, close together, across edge of curtain. Well, if I break it after when play opens, that would be the first night. Oh, and furs are trees. Oh, and we had a, a crossword the other day, which uh, defeated me. Um, and nigh meant close or near. The end of the world is nigh. So let's see, we have the furs and nigh. But across, yeah, um, across edge of curtain. Oh, we also have the T at the, so we have a T after furs and a T after, well, the, um, yeah, I'm not sure where. Those two T's are coming from. Across edge of curtain, the center letter of curtain is a T. I mean, I would be very surprised if this isn't right, but I just don't fully understand the wordplay. But what would that do for send in a column keeping this? For the record, record. No, I'm not seeing it. How about ceremonial procedure by enthusiast? Nothing held back. I'm thinking it might be a ceremonial procedure. And we're going to take a word for enthusiast, which I think will begin with an R. And it's going to hold a word for nothing backwards. Well, nothing can be O, but I think if it's going to be held backwards, it's going to be something like nil or zero. I like nil because that could be L-I-N. Ceremonial procedure. Of course, ceremonial procedure could be a rite or a ritual by enthusiast. Could be a fan. Nothing held back. No, I'm not saying it. Without sources origin. Do hack job on duchy instead of historian. What's the definition there? Instead of historian doesn't sound like a good definition. Without source, maybe something that is baseless or. Oh, of course, I. I've trained myself now when I look at these crosswords that I see the word without and I immediately think that something is going to go outside it. And source's origin is an S, so we would need 10 letters to hack job. Well, that could be anagramming, but duchy instead is 12 letters oh could it be 
duchy and then instead without that s that is the so maybe it is without in the normal sense of the word and do a hack job on duchy i n t e a d and you get a um historian is it a famous historian or is it just um somebody who deals in the past an antiquarian let's try the anagram helper and just to see if anything yeah the y is going to be useful i think well, where would the y go no they don't seem very likely likely letters for an anagram historian gonna be an old medieval or a greek no and maybe it, there is some reference to a duchy i can only think of luxembourg but is there a short duchy well let's pass the duchy for now who a fiber obtained from mistletoe well could this simply be a hidden is uh isle a fiber let me pause and look that up yes it is a strong fiber as for cordage or basket work i don't think i know the word but that was a fairly straightforward one i think all right how about chap has one potato he is about to lose oh the poor guy i do love my potatoes um chap has one potato he is about to lose um i can just think of hasselback potatoes but um which i tried making once and it was a disaster uh, and that's 10 letters anyway um one potato one potato two potato uh is this something a spud he is about to lose is that the definition somebody who's losing his chips gambler maybe the mark in some kind of confidence trick no not saying it all right let's try the other acrosses moved suddenly small accident i'm thinking it might mean moved suddenly that would be s for small followed by a word for accident and it means moved so it would be a past tense but i don't think it's going to be an ed past tense so maybe something like struck can a truck be an accident i think um i do remember from shakespeare the word truck coming up let me pause and look that up no i think i'm thinking of uh the meaning which i've certainly heard in ireland uh, to have no truck with somebody to have no dealings with them but uh, not an accident um but i think it's going to be something like that uh, let's leave it for now how about take off before temperature plunges um well the wordplay if before is part of the wordplay something for take off before a t but then you have sort of similar problem plunges as a plural verb so well maybe it's 
a plural thing for temperature. No, not uh, seeing it. One American rubbishes ignorant English. Ooh, again, I'm not very clear on where the definition is. English, you know, is often used in wordplay just as a final, well, as an E. In this case, it would be a final E. One American rubbishes. No, nope. that was our potato one. Barbarian cut grass back round and round. Well, round can be used for an O. So I'm thinking it's going to end in OO. Therefore, it will mean barbarian. Yeah, yeah, Yahoo is hay backwards. Um, I think cut is a little bit um, out of place here. Oh, I suppose cut grass. Sorry, no, it's not. I take that back. Cut grass is hay. Yeah. Um, and then it goes backwards, and then we have our round and round. Uh, let's go and look at some more downs. Decisive check that may produce basic result with the dreaded question mark. So there's something loose going on here. There's something a bit of a stretch. Decisive check. Oh, um, in chess, a decisive check would be a something mate. Ah, oh, but it's not. It begins, the second word begins with T. And that may produce basic result. Oh, a, a something test. Oh, um, uh, what do you call a pH test? Basic versus um, acidic, right? Basic is the same as alkaline, I think. I think it's going to be some kind of test. A decisive check. Oh, an acid test. I think is a decisive check. Could it be acidic test? Is that another way of saying it? Uh, I think I'm on the right lines. I'm just not getting it. All right, how about Charlie to his younger brother is cocaine. Um, well, obvious five-letter word would be crack. I can see it begins with CR, Charles Rex, and then his younger brother is Andrew. But where's the other CK coming from? Is cocaine. Well, let's see. Do hack job on duchy instead of historian. No, I don't like that. K there. Let's get rid of that. Sort of dish. Rebellious group. Becoming fossils. Um, I think it, becoming fossils might be the definition are simply fossils. And we're going to start with some kind of dish. Now, is it the actual vessel itself? Some type of earthenware or word for a bowl? Or is it going to be a culinary dish? And then rebellious group. 
Oh, what is that going to be? It could be some acronym, specific group. Um, I'd like it to end in ING. Shining path. Um, just so it could be actually becoming fossils. Um, oh, I don't know what the verb would be. All right, how about this one? I really wanted to see with the Y sharp emotion as glutton tours old French city. Well, tours is a French city, but I think it's going to be a word for glutton going around a French city, might even go around the letter O for old in a French city, and it's going to mean, I think, sharp, well, a sharp emotion. Is that an expression? Is that a, a reasonable definition? What would, what's a sharp emotion? Acrimony? No, that's only eight. All right, how about some expressing a sigh of relief? Um, this sounds like it could be a hidden clue to some of expressing a sigh. And it means of relief? Or just some of expressing is a sigh of relief? I can't think of. Um, I'm thinking it might be I something I see or, oh, it could be O, oh, of course, O, oh, some sigh of relief, no. Tough character to pull up stallion at the start. So are we going to reverse a word for a stallion? Well, I suppose a stud could be a tough character, but to pull up stallion... To pull it up, the stud is dots. I don't think that's right. No, oh, moving on. Gay peace has garbage. Prose needing a rewrite. Oh, could it be an anagram of gay peace has? No, that's only 11 letters. I was thinking garbage might be an anagram indicator. Needing a rewrite, something like a something draft, a rough draft, prose needing a rewrite. A piece as garbage. No. <laughs> Saying hello. To add her in August, perhaps. Wow. Is it add her as in a snake or... Oh, um, somebody who adds things up is summing them. So I think it's um, something summer. Saying hello... And then August is an example of, oh, I suppose high summer. Yeah, that's an expression, I think. Um, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that one. My goodness, I'm 20 minutes in and I just have uh, three and a half. <laughs> Pretty uh, shameful, but anyway. Impossibility. Tin thrown up, seen flying down to earth. 
impossibility as I think that might be the definition maybe no no something tin is sn but maybe it's just reversed nit scene flying oh that might be a, an anagram of scene but down to earth ah Oh, actually, I'm thinking now, um, down to earth would be no nonsense. And I got that just from thinking about scene flying and anagramming it. Although I'm not, so there's the scene flying at the end. Tin. Ah, tin thrown up is SN backwards. And an impossibility is a no-no. Well, we had no-no yesterday with a different definition as something you shouldn't do, not as an impossibility. Anyway, all right. Uh, yeah, so luckily just playing around with S and two E's and an N somehow came up with nonsense and then uh, saw that could be linked to down to earth all right now our one american ah, i think that might be the definition like a um an angelino or a um, mexicano something somebody from america maybe it's a, going to be an anagram of oh yeah ignorant is eight letters plus e for english makes nine so let's try the anagram helper see if it'll work this time ignorante Ooh. Argentino. Yes. So there we go. I think I generally hear, I suppose, the English version in Argentine as somebody from Argentina, but an Argent Argentino is probably more correct. Now, here we have n something y could it be n c y stridency let's put it in and see if that could possibly glutton tours old french city No, I don't think that's right. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to click the uh, check this button. Oh, well, of course, yeah, if I'm right about the S, it's not going to be SS. All right, let's uh, carry on. Uh, let's go back to the acrosses. Oh, because we have some nice letters here now. Devotional work. One we possess read aloud. Well, read aloud suggests a homophone. And I know there is a devotional work. I think monks and nuns read the Book of Hours, which sounds like it is a book of hours, one we possess. But all right, I'm going to jump back to the downs because of that E and the B found herbalists missing recipe fancy i think this might be found and i can think of a verb that means to found something and it's going to be an anagram of most of herbalists 
missing I think just is it just the R for recipe but I'm thinking of establish Yeah, um, I'll have to look at 15 squared to verify that. Why is recipe the letter R? All right, well, that's a good one to get to. Now my potato chap. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, uh, back to the acrosses. Crow adopted by some youths. Hmm. Not sure if even where, I suppose youths could be the definition. Well, it could be crow as in to boast, to, yeah, it could be. Funny, yeah, having the I is the second last letters, second last letter. Crow adopted. Oh, um, I think it might be a hoodie. There's a hooded crow. I think it's also known as the gray crow. I may be wrong on that. But Well, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Let me, I will use the check this button here. It is correct. Let me uh, look up the hooded crow. Well, according to Wikipedia, the hooded crow, also called the scald crow, are hoodie. I've never heard it called that. They don't mention the gray uh, crow name. But I think I have heard that in Ireland. It is an ashy grey bird with a black head. I think it's quite an attractive bird for one that's uh, so common and carrion, so it doesn't have a good reputation. And uh, apparently in Irish folklore, the bird appears on the shoulder of the dying Cúchulain. I did not know this. It's associated with fairies in the Scottish Highlands in Ireland. Anyway, well, a hoodie is adopted by youths, but I think uh, a lot of people my age wear hoodies every now and then. Uh, any other um, non-youthful hoodie wearers out there? All right, predict, judge, is to recall celebrity would be slough bomber Ooh, that's um well unless that's some reference i don't getting a slough bomber predict um judge can simply be j and to recall a celebrity well, a celebrity can simply be a name. And if you recall that, you would, oops, you would have E man. So I think it's going to be something man. I think we're going to have a short word for predict. And then a J is to recall. Ah, I'm going to look up Slough Bomber just to see what that's a reference to. Well, I, I googled Slough Bomber and most of the responses were references to this very crossword clue. Fortunately, they in the little description, they didn't show the answer. So I think maybe it is not a well-known thing. I wonder if it could be... Uh, something to do with the Slough of Despond and old uh, what's his name's poem. Um, Pilgrim's Progress. 
Um, yeah, not getting that. Let's try this uh, 21 down. Cover up involves some consecutive letters, then some more. Ah, cover up. I wonder if it, the consecutive letters might start H-I. Oh, and I think H-I-J. And then A and B are the other consecutive letters, and a hijab covers up, of course. Oh, so this is uh, J. Oh, um, oh, of course. Uh, come, come, friendly bombs. Um, lines that were, uh, let's charitably say, borrowed by Morrissey, or uh, stolen, some might say. So predict is bet, J is, uh, judge is J, and then the name backwards, and you get John Betjeman, the poet, um, in one of his most famous lines, I suppose. Oh, that's clever. Glad I know that. I probably have Morrissey to thank for it. Um, an inflatable horse, dirty looking all round. I wonder if it's an inflatable. Um, oh, of course, I'm thinking of a dinghy, which has dingy all around H for horse, and I think that comes from drugs, heroin, horse, H. All right, these downs should be easy. Country, cousin initially tricked. Well, that has to be Chad. Uh, cousin initially is a C, and if you're tricked, you've been had, and Chad is a country. Shout of encouragement for thug. Oh, if you shout go on to somebody uh, as encouragement, and a goon is a thug. All right, rally postmen, everyone having lost heart. Ooh. Rally. I was thinking the definition is going to be rally. And then we might have postman, maybe the Royal Mail. No, but I think that's going to be the start of this. And then everyone having lost heart, we're going to take out the... Is it just the middle letter of something that means everyone... Oh, let me pause and uh, rehydrate and think what that could be. Well, I did resort to the wordplays.com site to find an eight-letter word with those three letters. And there's actually quite a few possibilities. Uh, disperse, uh, I should have thought of. But I think, actually, the one I like is jamboree, just because I think that is a rally as in a scouting jamboree. Um, and I can see everyone having lost heart might be the final EE. What I don't understand is how postman is jambor. Oh, a post is a jam, a doorpost, a door jam. Ah, yes. And then OR is one of those numerous abbreviations for a regiment or section of the army. Um, is this something rangers? And so postman, it's jammed together as one word, but we have to break it up, a word for a post, and men as in soldiers. That's a very tricky, and a tricky word to jamboree. Anyway, Looking at 11 down now, I'm thinking something opera. Gay, oh, um, that guy called, um, what was his, John Gay, I think, wrote the Beggar's Opera. 
which I think then became um, the Thropony Opera, or that was sort of the basis of the Thropony Opera. Anyway, Beggar's Opera, let's see. Garbage prose. Ah, oh, it's an anagram of garbage prose. That was the obvious 12 letters there <laughs> needing a rewrite. Maybe because I'm doing a bit of writing myself, I just focused on that being the definition. Anyway, let's see. Um, chap has one potato. He is about to lose. Yeah, I'm not um, seeing that at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to resort to uh, wordplays.com. I know it's uh, not strictly cricket, but um, you do what you have to do, right? Ah, actually, I was typing the letters into wordplay.com, and I was just thinking about, okay, what's going to come between the T and the R? I thought it was probably a vowel, consonant, vowel, and I thought, oh, tater. And um, one is about to lose. We saw something similar the other day where there was a, oh, I think it was about a great healer. A renowned healer was time from an expression. And here the expression is he who hesitates is lost. And so a chap has one potato, has, oh, has a tater, has a tater, he's a tater. I'm not exactly sure how the, the chap has one. Oh, I think chap has is he's, one is I, and then is it going to be tater? No, I think it's just going to be an E. Well, let me check it. If that is right, it looks wrong. I think I prefer the spelling with O, but just from one potato. There's no uh, homophone indicator here, so it's just spelled the same way you would spell tater. All right, well, happy to get that one without having to use the website, although <laughs> typing it in did help me. A uh, sort of dish now, rebellious group. Oh, a faction is often a, a, res um, a rebellious group. We've seen that before. I'm thinking it might be stupefaction. Is that, is that, um, how is that now a t sort of dish? Rebellious group. And stupefaction, you know, is more being confounded and I suppose becoming stupid stupefaction. Let's check it. Okay, so it's some other kind of faction. I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Petrifaction, or oh, a petri dish. And then petrifying, yes. Oh, I should have, um, I should have worked that out. Becoming fossils, turning to stone. Peter Stone. All right. Now, without sources, origin do hack job. On Dutchy. Instead, it might still be that anagram of. Dutchy instead without the S historian. Yeah, not seeing it. I'm not going to give up yet. How about send in a column keeping this for the record? Four four. Send in fire. Fire free. No. Ceremonial procedure by enthusiast. Nothing held back. No, not saying that either. How about our decisive check? I'm going to put in um, 
acidic test and check it? No, so let's reveal that one. Oh, of course, how did I not think of a litmus test? Dear, oh dear, I think we even had that not too long ago in the crossword. All right, send in might be to file, to file a, um, you file your report, but also then keeping something for the record, I can see would be a file something. Keeping this for the file a column. Oh, now I'm going to reveal that one too. File copy. Ah, yes, that's the expression. Journalists, I don't know if they still use it. I'm sure they do to file their copy and keeping it for a record. Ah, yes. So, nothing held back. I'm trying to think of a musical expression, ritorando or something like that, but I don't think it means nothing held back. Yeah, uh, let's try Charlie. Well, let's try the crack and see if that is right. No? Okay, let's reveal it. Candy. Ah, so C is Charlie. Andy, I even thought of Prince Andrew, is the younger brother. Is candy cocaine? I'm showing my uh, ignorance here. Candy. Oh, nose candy. I have heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, ceremonial, I still do think it's going to be right. Oh, an enthusiast can be a nut. Yeah, or, ooh, um, it might actually be the nut and nothing being held back. Um, I was going to say rotunda, ceremonial procedure, by enthusiast, nothing held back. Now let's reveal it. Ritenuto, I think that is a musical term. Let's uh, take a look at that. Ah, it apparently is a slower tempo. A sudden decrease temporarily holding back. So held back is the definition. It's right, not, and nothing is O. Oh. Yeah, I, I just saw held back as being part of the wordplay and not the definition again. Ooh. Well, now I really am thinking this is going to be our duchy indeed so but um how does this work what's um i think it must be you see why Oh, yeah, I think it is going to be a Greek historian. Let me pause and look up Greek historians. Well, um, yeah, there's no way I would have come up with this name, but it was in the back of my mind. I've seen a similar name and I've messed up the wordplay somehow because this does have an S in it. So T-H-U-C-Y-D. So that's duchy, and then it's, uh, let's see, D, I, D, uh oh, historian. So the one I'm seeing here just has 10 letters, so I'm not sure 
Oh, maybe there's an anagram, or sorry, not anagram, an adjective of historian. Oh my goodness. So not only do we have to come up with this ancient Greek historian, we have to come up with the adjective formed from his name. But at least I'm taking comfort from the fact that I did work out the wordplay correctly. It was duchy instead minus the S from source's origin, and it means of this historian. Oh my goodness. All right, now how about our sharp emotion as glutton tours old French city. Uh, there is Nancy, I think, was that the old name for Nantes, N-A-N-T-E-S? Glutton Tours, maybe. Maybe the glutton is anagrammed. And then, what is that going to be? Uh, oh, poignancy? Oh, no. So here's, it. the glutton is a pig. And he tours O for old. Then we have the French city of Nancy. And poignancy is that um, sharp emotion. Um, oh, of course, a, a, a prang can be a, an accident. And so S prang is moved suddenly. Sprang. Oh, some... Oh, maybe a few, yes, um, which sounds like are expressing a sigh of relief, few. Funny, I think in the U.S. people are more likely to say few, W-H-E-W, -E whereas in Britain and Ireland, I think few with a P is more common, but I haven't... Uh, done any checking to verify that. All right, tough character now to pull up stallion at the start. Well, this horse can be a GG or it could be a nag to pull up the stallion, maybe. And then that would be G-A-N, tough character. Um, now I'm going to reveal it. Guts. Okay. Ah, uh, so I, I suppose if you have tough character, you have guts. So it's not a character as a person. To pull is to tug, and that goes up. And then stallion at the start is simply an S. Okay. Now take off. Well, take off can be to mimic or to impersonate. But before temperature plunges. Now I'm going to reveal that one. Divest is to take off, okay, as in clothing. Before temperature, ah, so before the T for temperature, you have a word for plunges, dives. Oh my goodness. Let's check all. Everything else still seems to be there. Let's take a look at 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Andrew found this quite tough, but soundly clued. All right. I think there were just three. Well, I just wanted to double check 18. He's, chap has, yeah, plus one plus tater. And he who hesitates is lost. Everything uh, else seems to be fine. And then in the downs, Ah, it wasn't nigh. Ah, it was tight, close together. Um, 
across the edge of curtain is the final N. Okay. I presume edge of a word could be either end of it, the C or the N. But in this case, it was the uh, furs plus N in tight. Yeah, okay. Did not get that. And then uh, 16. Yeah, it looks like recipe can simply be R. I wonder what the context of that is, but I'm sure it's fine. What do our peanut gallery have to say about it? Even Thucydidian wasn't too hard to get. Oh my goodness. All right. Inflatable is a bit loose for a dinghy. Yeah, some dinghies are, lots aren't. Anyway, yeah. Oh, we knew a Betjeman from the office. Okay. Um, anyway, yes, I saw I got there in the end. I thought it was going to be much harder than it turned out to be. But there were just a few at the end. I had to click on the reveal button. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.